Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some extremely spicy battles in the Open Ultra League, featuring a Solar Beam ho -Oh. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, the team this trainer is running consists of Trevident Lead, ho -Oh Save Switch, and Talonflame as the closer, and the goal being to Save Switch ho -Oh, bait out any potential water types, and then one-shot them with the unexpected nuke of Solar Beam. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Solar Beam ho -Oh in action in the Ultra League. Hopping into the first match, we see a mirror lead Trevenant into Trevenant. Two better responses in the back, so we see a save switch into ho -Oh. Opponent responds with a Swampert. Swampert, very spammy, able to make it to the Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon, big damage, but not enough to KO ho -Oh. ho -Oh, making it to the Solar Beam. Do they respect it? They do not! Swampert gets one shot, and ho -Oh takes switch advantage. In the back, they have Togekiss, so they are pretty weak to fire and flying types once the Swampert is out of the way. In comes Trevenant. Trevenant just gonna fire off charge moves into the Togekiss, trying to burn shields, and at this point, you can just save shields for the Talonflame, and Talonflame should be able to sweep this endgame. Trevenant actually decides to commit the shield here on the Ancient Power, wanting to make one final Shadow Ball to grab the final shield. This Shadow Ball fired into the Togekiss, gets the final shield, and now in comes Talonflame. Talonflame definitely does not want to be hit with the double super effective Ancient Power, so we will see a shield used. Opponent now going to send in Trevenant, but the Togekiss unfortunately switched out too late. The Talonflame has so much energy, it farms down and leaves with another Flame Charge. This is going to take care of the Togekiss, and that is a good game. We see a Nightmare lead in the next match. Trevenant into Pidgeot. Can't get much worse than that. Immediate save switch into ho -Oh to check and see if the opponent has a water type in the back. And Pidgeot stays in and throws on alignment, giving ho -Oh 20 free energy. A massive mistake from the opponent. Ho-Oh is going to farm up to 100 energy and fire off the Brave Bird. Brave Bird is going to connect, but unfortunately, due to that Feather Dance debuff, it's not going to be enough to pull a shield. Nevertheless, Ho-Oh makes it to Brave Bird number 2 and is able to grab a shield this time. So at the very least, Ho-Oh is able to grab a shield advantage, and now you're pretty confident that they don't have any water types in the back, so you can just send in Talonflame and look for the farm down. Pidgeot goes for the Feather Dance again onto the Talonflame. So Talonflame is quite debuffed here. We'll have to see what the opponent does have in the back as they've only revealed the Pidgeot. Opponent sends in Galarian Stunfisk, banks a Flame Charge for later, and it's an Umbreon in the back. And that is absolutely terrible for Trevenant. Trevenant tried so hard to get away from the Pidgeot just to get stuck going up against an Umbreon, which is not much better. Firing off Seed Bomb after Seed Bomb into the Umbreon, and Umbreon just shaking off that damage like it's nothing. Umbreon going for the foul play. That's going to get the Trevenant low. They're going for another foul play right away. But this does give Talonflame the opportunity to start to ramp up its attacks. Talonflame is going for the Flame Charge right away. Flame Charge will be no shielded by the Umbreon. Opponent is going to send in the Galarian Stunfisk. Stunfisk going for the Rock Slide. Rock Slide will grab a shield from the Talonflame. Talonflame going for another Flame Charge. This Flame Charge definitely going to hurt. Stunfisk commits the shield. This is going to be close. Talonflame farming up. Can Talonflame actually outpace the Stunfisk here? Rockslide gets the shield. Talonflame is able to outpace. That is absolutely incredible. Talonflame, incredibly boosted, just needs to make it to a move versus the Umbreon. Umbreon firing off a charge move here, but foul play will not cut it. Talonflame makes it to the flame charge. This will be taking down the Umbreon and securing the win. We see a tough lead in the next match, Trevenant into Aurorus. Aurorus is an issue because he can hit this entire team for super effective damage. Gonna stay in with the Trevenant to start. Aurorus goes for the Weather Ball right away. Trevenant is gonna no shield. Weather Ball does deal quite a bit of damage and the opponent is actually going to safe switch out of here. Opponent sends in their own Trevenant and calls the bait. Oh no, that is absolutely unfortunate there. Opponent with an insane read call in the bait. In comes ho -Oh. ho -Oh looking for the incinerate down, but not quite able to get there. Trevenant makes a seed bomb, and ho -Oh is forced to commit a shield. ho -Oh is going to get the full farm down here. Back in comes Aurorus. ho -Oh going for the solar beam onto the Aurorus. 
Aurorus respects it. Aurorus would have taken a lot of damage from Sacred Fire, so they commit the shield. Man, I really wanted to see that land. And now in comes Talonflame, but Talonflame does not have a good matchup here against Aurorus. Aurorus firing off a charge move. We see the shield from the Talonflame, and it is the Meteor Beam. Talonflame farming up going for the flame charge flame charge not gonna ko so the aurorus is gonna let that through talon flame making it to flame charge number two this one will be lethal is the opponent willing to shield yes they are we see a switch into trevenant in the back it is verizian and verizian is honestly quite scary to see because typically on this team it is running stone edge verizian looking for the double kick farm down not quite able to get it. Trevenant makes the Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb gets the Verizian low. Verizian gets the farm down. And this is going to be game over as this should be the Stone Edge. Verizian with 1 HP takes out the Talonflame. And that's game over. Picking up a great lead in the next match. Trevenant into Cresselia. Opponent not switching out of this matchup. So it looks like the opponent is very weak to Trevenant somewhere in the back as well. So Trevenant is going to farm up, go for the Shadow Ball right off the bat, and deal massive damage to the Cresselia. Cresselia is going to return fire with a Moonblast. We see the no shield from the Trevenant. Trevenant will need to throw, or it's going to take another move. Trevenant opts not to throw instead. Trevenant will commit the shield and look for the full farm down here. Committing the shield able to fully farm down and leave with a ton of energy, and there's a Clefable lurking in the back. Trevenant going to bait with a Seed Bomb, grab a shield, bank a Shadow Ball for later, send in ho -Oh in the back. It's a Slow King. Slow King did just get access to Surf with the new Calm Day, but ho -Oh has the Solar Beam. Solar Beam connects, one-shotting the Slow King, and the opponent concedes the match. We see a tough lead in the next match. Trevenant into Obstagoon. Immediate save switch into ho -Oh. Opponent responds not with a water type, but with an Alolan Muck. And this is definitely a situation where you miss having Sacred Fire, because Sacred Fire could hit for massive damage without lowering ho -Oh's defense. Whereas now, after the Brave Bird, its defense is lowered. Muck goes for the Acid Spray, looking for the farm down. ho -Oh! over taps, tried to go for the farm down, but the Muck living on one HP, able to survive and land an acid spray onto the talon flame in the back is togekiss togekiss is going to be brought into a talon flame because the talon flame has been two stages debuffed brave bird gets the shield we see a pivot into the trevenant trevenant farming up energy opponent is gonna bank a bunch of energy on the togekiss and send back in the obstagoon and obstagoon just has a dominating matchup here there's not really a lot that trevenant can do Obstagoon goes for the Night Slash. That's going to connect. We see Trevenant spamming out Seed Bomb after Seed Bomb, just trying to get some chip damage onto the Obstagoon. But Obstagoon will be able to fire off the Night Slash and grab the KO. And this is going to be tough. Obstagoon gets the boost as well. And I think this is just going to be game over there. As there's just not really a whole lot that can be done. Flame Charge gets no shielded. In comes the Togekiss. And Togekiss, unfortunately, is just too healthy here. They go for the Ancient Power. Togekiss looking for the Charm Down. Talonflame makes the Flame Charge. But Tog still has a shield remaining. Commits the shield. Charms down the Talonflame. And that's game over. We see a core breaker on the lead in the next match, Trevenant into Gyarados. Now Gyarados is problematic for this team because it can hit the entire team for super effective damage. Trev farms up to the Shadow Ball, baiting with the Seed Bomb, hoping to grab the shield, but the opponent lets it through. Very nice call by the opponent. Trevenant commits the shield, gets baited by an Aqua Tail. Opponent making all the right reads here in the beginning of the match. Trev going for Seed Bomb number two. That will get shielded by the opponent. Opponent, my guess is they baited once. They're not going to bait again. They're going to be going straight for the crunch. Trev no shields and Gyarados wins lead. However, the hope is if they're leading a water type, hopefully that's a cover for stuff that's weak to fire in the back. In comes ho -Oh looking for the farm down. Gyarados makes the Aqua Tail, will get farmed down. We'll have to see what does the opponent have in the back. They send in a Sylveon. Oh my goodness, they must be so weak to fire in the back. ho -Oh launches the Brave Bird, grabs the shield. In comes Talonflame. Talonflame farming up energy, going for the Brave Bird, and it's caught onto a Machamp. That's gonna fully one-shot the Shadow Machamp. Back in comes Sylveon. Sylveon firing off a charge move here. We're gonna see a shield from the Talonflame. Talonflame defense has been lowered, able to withstand the charms and make another Brave Bird. 
Brave Bird takes down the Sylveon, and that is a good game. Picking up a decent lead in the next match, Trevenant into Giratina Altered. This Giratina is running Dragon Breath, not Shadow Claw, which does typically tend to favor the Trevenant. They go straight for the Dragon Claw, not building up to a Shadow Sneak, so that's a pretty safe no shield for the Trevenant. Trevenant is going to return fire here, going for the Shadow Ball, gets a shield from the opponent, and now we see the save switch into Ho-Oh. Checking to see if the opponent has a water type. They're staying in with the Tina. Is this going to be the Ancient Power? It is not. The Dragon Claw is no shielded. That's a big call. Opponent going for Dragon Claw number two. Ho-Oh should be able to live this, and Ho-Oh, now at 100 energy, will have to start throwing. Ho-Oh is going to be firing off the Brave Bird. Brave Bird KOs the Giratina. So at the very least, the opponent's lead Pokemon has finally been eliminated. Opponent now going to send in Alolan Muck, and it's a Snarl Alolan Muck. Thanks to the low fast move pressure, Ho-Oh makes the Brave Bird and gets the final shield. And now in the 2-0 shielding scenario, Talonflame is looking to feast. Talonflame is going to let the first move through from the Muck. It is going to be the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse does quite a lot of damage. We're going to see a shield now from the Talonflame. Two shields in the match, you have to start using them somewhere. Talonflame going for the Brave Bird. The question is, is this going to be enough to KO Brave Bird? Barely does not. In the back is Cobalion. We see a pivot into the Trevenant, and Trevenant is going for the Shadow Ball. Not only does this reset the debuff, but this will force the Cobalion to go for a Stone Edge, because Sacred Sword is not going to KO from this health range. Trev lets it go. Opponent goes for the Sacred Sword. Oh, no. They're going to be firing off another charge move here. We see the no shield from the Trevenant. It's another Sacred Sword. In comes the Talonflame. Talonflame farms down. And it looks like the opponent has closed the app. Opponent still has the one HP muck in the back. And Talonflame gets the win. We see Mirror Leads again in the next match. With two better answers in the back, we'll see an immediate safe switch into the Ho-Oh. Opponent is going to respond with a Swampert. Oh my goodness. Ho-Oh going for the Solar Beam into the Swampert. Swampert shields. No. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Opponent respecting the Solar Beam. Ho-Oh farming up here. Ho-Oh able to make it to the Brave Bird. Let's see. Does the opponent know their Ho-Oh counts? They do not. Opponent double shields a Swampert to keep Switch, but that's not really going to help them as the Swampert still has been baited out and this just saves two shields for the Talonflame in the back. Swampert firing off an Earthquake here. Earthquake does quite a lot of damage. Opponent has Charizard in the back and Charizard without shields is unfortunately not going to do too well against the Talonflame. They go for the Dragon Claw. Talonflame farming up quite a bit of energy and going for the Brave Bird into the Charizard. No shields remain for the opponent. Brave Bird connects. Down goes the Charizard. Back in comes Swampert. Swampert will make it to the Hydro Cannon. Talonflame has saved its two shields for this moment. Shields up the Hydro Cannon. Going for the Brave Bird. This is going to be taken care of the Swampert. Talonflame incredibly debuffed. In comes the Trevenant. Trevenant gets the farm down. And now this is going to be close. Can this Trevenant make it to the Shadow Ball here? It's going to be close. Able to hang on and get the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball takes down the opponent and secures the win. Hopping into the final match, picking up a dominant lead, Trevenant into Swampert. Opponent is going to stay in this matchup to start with. Go for a catch onto Charizard, but great patience. Holding onto the energy and now getting to fire off the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball connects. In comes Talonflame, and the opponent concedes the match. All in all, these were some extremely enjoyable battles. Ho-Oh, definitely more of a pick for Spice than for Climbing, but it is really cool to see someone kind of think outside the box, A, using Ho-Oh in the Ultra League, and B, putting Solar Beam on it as well, understanding that Ho-Oh can tank a Hydro Cannon from Swampert and survive that damage, make it to the Solar Beam. An opponent can usually tank a Brave Bird, but Swampert definitely not tanking the Solar Beam. So props to this trainer for quite a lot of creativity and it resulting in some very entertaining battles. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.